If you want to talk about your own personality or describe other people's personality in English language, watch this lesson. Hello, this is Maddie from POC English and in this lesson, we're going to learn how to talk about personality and character. And we're going to learn 15 adjectives that you can use to talk about personality. First, let's start with the questions. If you want to know about somebody's personality, what questions can you ask? Well, you can say, what is beep like? What is beep like? Now, instead of that weird sound beep, you can use the name of the person. What is Jack like? What is your father like? What is your teacher like? You can also use this question. How would you describe plus the name of the person? For example, how would you describe Jack? How would you describe your father? How would you describe the president of your country? How would you describe? And the third question you can use is this one. How do you see? How do you see? For example, how do you see Jack? How do you see Lisa? How do you see Linda? How do you see the president of your country? How do you see your teacher? So these are the three common questions you can use to ask about somebody's personality, right? But how would you describe someone's personality? You can use personality adjectives. And to use adjectives, we need to have a verb to be plus the adjective. For example, I am funny. I am angry. I am sensitive. So we need a verb to be plus one adjective. All right. In order to learn 15 different adjectives to talk about personality, I have asked three of my friends to come here and tell us about their personality and character. Let's start with number one, Linda. Hello, Linda. Linda, how do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? I am ambitious, self-confident and generous. I'm also very impatient. Some people really like me. Others think I'm arrogant or maybe aggressive. Okay, let's see what she said. Let's read it together. I'm ambitious, self-confident and generous. What does it mean, ambitious? Well, someone who's ambitious wants to be successful, wants to reach the top, loves improvement. Ambitious. Are you ambitious? I am. Okay, let's continue. Self-confident. What does it mean? Well, it means that you have no doubt about your skills and your talents and your abilities. You are sure that you are good enough. You are self-confident. She also said that she is generous. Now, a person who is generous is willing to help other people, likes to help other people, likes to give more than they take. So a generous person would give money to poor people because they are generous, right? Okay, let's continue. I'm also very impatient. Very impatient. What does it mean? A person who's impatient cannot wait. They hate waiting. So they are impatient. They get angry if they wait for something for a long time. They cannot wait. Okay, let's continue. Some people really like me. Others think I'm arrogant. Others think I'm arrogant or maybe aggressive. Now, what is arrogant? A person who's arrogant thinks that they are better than other people. Huh, how dare you talk to me like that? Hmm, it means I'm arrogant. I think that I'm better than him. So, 
Arrogant means you think you are better than all other people. Hmm. Or aggressive. What does it mean, aggressive? Oh, aggressive is a person who's always angry and mad and who always wants to have an argument. Hmm. What did you do? Uh, I'm aggressive. Okay. Now, here's another friend of mine, Lucy. Lucy, how would you describe yourself? How would you describe yourself, Lucy? I see myself as hardworking, honest, and tolerant. Other people probably think I'm a bit dull without much sense of humor. Let's see what Lucy said together. I see myself as hardworking, honest, and tolerant. Three adjectives. Hardworking, honest, tolerant. Who's hardworking? A hardworking person is a person who works really hard, who tries really hard, who puts a lot of effort into what he or she is doing, right? Hardworking. Okay, so she said she is hardworking. She also said that she's honest. It means she never tells a lie, right? She's always telling the truth. No lying. She also said that she is tolerant, right? She's tolerant. Now, what does it mean when you say that somebody is tolerant? A tolerant person is a person who can accept other people's ideas even if they are against his or her own ideas, right? For example, if I am a vegetarian, meaning that I only eat vegetables and I don't eat meat, and a friend of mine is a person who loves hamburgers, I am tolerant if we go out and have dinner together, I order salad, and he can order a hamburger, and we can still be good friends, because I think that we shouldn't eat hamburger, but my friend thinks otherwise. But I'm tolerant, it means I accept that we are different. I accept other people's ideas even if they are against my own beliefs. I'm tolerant. Let's continue. Other people probably think I'm a bit dull without much sense of humor. Other people think that she is dull without sense of humor. Now, what does it mean when we say somebody is dull? It means they are uh, boring. They are not funny. They are dull without sense of humor. Now, what is a sense of humor? If you have a good sense of humor, it means that you can tell good jokes. You can make other people laugh. You can make other people happy. You have a good sense of humor. And now, here's another friend of mine. Hey, Anna. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself, Anna? I'm always cheerful and easygoing. I'm generally self-confident, but I can be insecure sometimes. Oh, let's see what she said. Before going on with this video, if you are enjoying it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe if you are new to this channel, and turn on notifications. Now, let's continue. So, what Anna said was this. I'm always cheerful and easygoing. Hmm, cheerful? What does it mean? A cheerful person is a person who's very happy. It's another way of saying to be happy, to be cheerful. She is very cheerful. Hmm. And she said that she is very easygoing. It means she doesn't care what other people are doing. She lives her own life and she relaxes. I don't care what people are doing. I have my own life. I want to enjoy my own life. I'm easygoing. Continue. I'm generally self-confident, but I can be insecure sometimes. She's generally self-confident, but she can be insecure. Well, self-confident means to be sure 
of your own skills and abilities, right? We had this before earlier in this video. But she said that she can sometimes be insecure. What does that mean? Insecure is the opposite of self-confident. So if you are insecure, it means that you do not trust your own skills. You don't think that you are good enough to do something. You are insecure. You are not sure of your own abilities. And let's continue. My friends think that I am very charming. Hmm, she is very charming. And charming means to be pleasant, to be lovely. She is charming. It means that her friends enjoy being around her because she is very lovely and pleasant. She is charming. Okay, guys, so here we are. We've learned how to ask about other people's personality and we learned 15 adjectives. Let's review them quickly. Ambitious, self-confident, generous, impatient, arrogant, aggressive, hardworking, honest, tolerant, dull, have a good sense of humor. Well, this one's not an adjective, right? But accept it as an adjective. It's not an adjective though. Cheerful, easygoing, insecure, and charming. So here's a question for you. How would you describe yourself and how do your friends see you? How would you describe yourself and how do your friends see you? Try to answer this question using the idioms that we have learned in this video and leave a comment so that I can give you feedback. See you in the next lesson.